These advanced controller tips are guaranteed to make your new controller journey much easier for Final Fantasy XIV, and being the current number one controller content creator, I feel obligated to make sure you have all the tools you need to succeed. My name is Bunboss, and today we're going to go over the advanced controller tips and settings you may have not known about. If you have any questions, leave a comment or come join me on my weekly streams. These are not in any particular order, so we'll just run through them. Number one, copy and paste using RB and LB. This setting sits in the system configuration rather than character configuration like most of our other settings. We'll head to system config, gamepad settings, and hit this button to enable text spacing with LB RB. This allows us to take anything in the crafting menu, gathering menus, or LinkedIn chat and hitting the X button on controller or square button on PlayStation controller and scroll down to copy item name. This copy items to the in-game clipboard, which then you can go over to the market board and hit our RB LB comp combo, which then pastes the item. This is a great shortcut for when you're wanting to level crafters and gatherers and just buy lower end material that is super cheap and not having to type stuff out often, which can be a pain without a mouse and keyboard. Though if you're on console, I highly recommend getting a cheap Bluetooth one, which I'll have linked down below that is recommended from a lot of my Discord members. If it's out of stock, then anything in the related items should work out just fine. Speaking about shortcuts, number two advanced controller tip is setting items, crafters and gatherers menu to the actual cross hotbar for shortcuts. As you get later in the game, especially when it comes to crafting and gathering, you'll start having to craft the same things over and over, either for weekly custom delivery, or if you're tackling Ishgardian Restoration, and it's annoying sometimes to have to go into the menu and find the item every single time. What you can do is use one of your eight cross hotbars as a crafting hotbar and set those items directly to the cross hotbar. Open the crafting menu, select the item you'll need regularly. I really like crafting these waterfall petitions as they always seem to sell on my server. Hit the X or square button and click set to hotbar. I'm going to click to cross hotbar seven by holding R1 and choosing seven, which is the down D pad. I put it here. So now you can see that on cross hotbar seven, I click the item and it instantly opens up the menu to that item. This is just super helpful for controller users. You'd just be surprised how many people don't utilize this shortcut whenever they can. This also works for inventory. You'll also be surprised to know a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. So make sure to red mage limit break through that subscribe button down below to get updated videos every week. Number three, resizing menus with R3. When opening various menus, sometimes I need to see things that are too small. I don't necessarily want to move it or go into my HUD layout, but maybe just zoomed in for a second. You can do this quickly by opening any menu you're in. Let's take the inventory menu and just by pressing down on the R3, which is the right analog stick. You will go through the various sizes as if you were in the HUD layout. You'll see in chat that you'll get a notification on resize window going bigger. This goes all the way up to 200% and then back down to 60%. Your maze look a little different, but my actual UI size is the largest because I'm blind as a bat. Number four, micro moving items in the HUD layout. This one really shouldn't be an advanced tip, but I know there's a lot of people who don't fully understand controllers, so I've decided to include it. When editing your HUD layout, you have this grid, which is great to help you align items and make things as even as possible. Thank you for Square Enix for this, as I do like to get things as close as possible to the end of the screens. When scrolling through the elements, let's take server info, for example, I like it to be as close to the corner just to make the middle of the screen more clear. You can either do this by using the right analog stick and tapping it to move it one pixel or by clicking on the actual server info with the mouse and then using the d-pad to click over. I get a weird amount of comments on how to adjust that so just the left analog stick moves the actual HUD layout menu and the right analog stick moves the current UI element you're on. Number five, posting a flag link in text chat. Some activities require sharing coordinates like maps or if you die on the overworld and you want someone to revive you, you need to share a link in the chat showing your coordinates. You can do this by opening your map with X or square, moving around with the right analog stick or either zoom in or out while holding the left bumper and right analog stick. Whenever you find your coordinates, you'll just hit RB and LB simultaneously. This will then put a flag link in the text chat automatically. You can press the select button, which will scroll you back over to your chat window. Make sure you're on the right chat. So if your chat window says party and you try to post while you're not in a party, it won't post anything. So either change it to shout or to say, depending on your situation. You can remove the flag by placing a new one or going over the old one and pressing RB and LB again, and it will remove from your map. Number six, virtual mouse. Now, personally, I don't know why you'd need to use this, but you buns are far more creative than me when it comes to imagination. You can access virtual mouse mode by using LB and R3 simultaneously, which will enable the mode. 
Now, maybe you want to do this if you see someone with a funny name or if you want to inspect their glamour that you might want to steal. As long as they are standing still, you can click on them. You can also do this just by simply going up to them and making sure you're right in front of them and just clicking X. But that requires you to be directly in front of them. The reason I included this is because it was said that Xbox doesn't have a virtual mouse mode, so I'm just debunking that right now. You can also rotate your camera by holding the left trigger while moving R3. I did actually find this useful so then I can click on people and not have to worry about scrolling through the, with the D-pad. Lastly, and my favorite advanced shortcut is chat expressions. If you're on controller, you know the pain of not being able to communicate in dungeons or duties as easily as mouse and keyboard players. Now, eventually, I always recommend to set up macros for you to press and assign to your cross hotbar. But if you want quick access to pre-made chats, you can simply go to the chat window, press A or X to get the blinking line, and then hit RB or R1. This will open the pre-made chat windows. This is a great way to communicate in a variety of duties, and they auto-translate. So if another player has theirs based on Japanese or Spanish or German, they will auto-translate so you can be able to communicate. Make sure you have the right chat on so it says party, and I'm not in a party, it won't post anything. You can change this just by clicking on that little chat window and selecting where you want to say it. This should give you even more in-depth knowledge about controller usage and really round out your knowledge on controller. If you haven't watched my number one guide on controller setup that will help you get to the point to make controller playable in my personal opinion make sure to drop a like on this video for a little algo push which is greatly appreciated thank you to all my discord patreon and youtube monthly members in making this channel possible and welcome to our new bun supporter duris if you want to learn all about final fantasy jobs controller play or news you can find my playlist in the description box or by clicking here